Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all good? Y'all, let's get into this video, honey, with Carlos King being surprised, I guess, that Nicki Minaj fan base showed up for her. Mmm, yeah. And you know, on Sundays, Carlos like to drop these mixtapes. And everything that I'm saying in this video is in my opinion. I'm not making any claims or rendering any judgments. I'm just merely stating my opinion of the situation at hand. The Copyright Act of 1976, Section 107, gives me fair use of the excerpts that I'll be sharing in this video. It's all for commentary and entertainment purposes only. First, we're going to listen to his message and then come back and talk about it. Okay. Happy Sunday, Raindrops. The message of the day is real life versus social media life. This message was inspired by me seeing that Nicki Minaj sold out of 18 consecutive shows and she has more coming. If you pay attention to what people say about her social media, you would think that would never happen. But in real life, everybody came out to support her. So that goes to show you, you cannot put inventory on what people say about you on social media, online, on the internet, when they gossip about you. You always have to remember that when they attack you, they secretly love you. No one who is doing better than you is ever going to attack you. That's never going to happen. They're too busy. Living life, working, working on themselves, having multiple streams of income. They're never going to attack you. The people who attack you, they're your biggest fans. They're the ones who give you the biggest engagement. There's people who's gonna leave comments on this video that are going to throw me shade. And I love it. I'm never going to respond to people hating on me. When people say, Carlos, focus on your own shows, Carlos, this and that. My response, I'm not. I will focus on what I want to focus on. I will do what I want to do. Okay? Always know this. When God positions you to live a life that people don't understand, it's not for them to understand it, baby. God did not give them the vision or the blessing. He gave it to you. Why would you sit up here and worry about what other people are saying about you when at the end of the day, they're so worried about you, they're not even worried about the man or woman who live in their house. Stop giving inventory to people who always want to misunderstand you. And always know this, they secretly are in love with you. Anybody that has time to create fake pages to attack you, attack your business, attack your character, you need to thank them. Thank them. Because at the end of the day, they are the forces that are pushing you to greatness. Okay. Y'all heard what he had to say, right? Well, in my opinion, his message for today is one of those self-reflecting messages. I feel like he's self-reflecting, in my opinion. Because when he said, when folks attack you, they secretly love you, I was thinking like, well... That would mean that you and Heavenly secretly love Sweet Tea. I mean, y'all attacked her and her ovaries. You've been speaking through subliminals for a minute now about Melody, in my opinion. So those are passive-aggressive attacks. You never put an ad on it. People who do that always want to leave room to say, but I never said anything about them. I never called their name. Then he says, no one who is doing better than you is ever going to attack you. First of all, from my experience, this is the type of statement that is right out of the Gaslighters playbook. Gaslighters use this manipulation technique because it's the easiest way to try and distort the facts and invalidate a person's experience with them and to avoid the truth. And using the word attack is very Karen adjacent. And don't think using Nicki Minaj is going to add value to your message. In this moment, you are doing exactly what you told Mariah that Bravo did with bringing in Phaedra. You're stunt casting, in my opinion, because you told Mariah. Do you think that we maybe we had too much of an expectation of Phaedra? Well, this is the thing. Number one, I call it stunt casting. Mm. Stunt casting is when you bring somebody who has a familiar name and fan base and, and use them to get eyeballs to the show. So yeah, to me, you just used Nicki Minaj to pull eyes to your message. Stunt casting. Just because you saw people in her comments talking crazy, you didn't think that her barbs were still going to show up for her? That's what it's like when you have a real fan base. They show up for you. 
And even with the folks who went to the concert and probably didn't have a good time, why does it have to be seen as an attack? Why can't it be that they just didn't enjoy the show? It sounds to me that you are the one that's putting inventory in what people say about you. Because you are always going on and on about not caring what people say about you, but you bring it up all the time. At this point, I'm starting to wonder, do you even have some raindrops? Or is this an optical illusion? Every time he do these Sunday morning posts, he sounds like a whiny little boy using that sympathy card to get attention. I do not like people who never want to take accountability. And people who never want to take accountability will always see something as an attack because they do not have the emotional intelligence to recognize their emotions or the emotions of others. They are incapable of regulating both of those emotions at the same time. And for him to be a Libra, as he always likes to mention, he comes off so off balance. Like calibrate your scales, bruh. For me, when I see him make messages like this, and the people who agree with him, who um, also have shown that they lack emotional intelligence as well, all I see is a bunch of people who are very reactive to a person setting boundaries. And calling them out on their truths that they do not want to address or be held accountable for. They are triggered. Which has now caused a decline in their cognitive abilities. So they get in their feelings when people walk away from them and won't put up with their BS anymore. People are no longer turning the other cheek and standing by to let you play in their face. Because you want to laugh things off, turn things into a joke, or act like you don't know what's going on. No, sir, and no, ma'am. And all of that gaslighting, that ain't going to work. To say that he saw that Nicki Minaj has sold out several tour dates, despite the fact that she has some people in her comments who don't like her. Like I said before, that sounds like a motivational speech to me that he's trying to give to himself. I don't like a victim mentality. I don't like when people try to blame others for what they themselves have caused. Like do you not take ownership for anything? Stop projecting. And just own where you were wrong. That's a part of life. That comes with the territory. It's like there comes a time. When you have to own your BS. Correct it and do better. Moving forward. Those are the types of things that makes you an adult. Versus just being grown. And he brought back up folks telling him to focus on his own shows, right? And I told y'all before that Carlos comes off as one of those people who are like, you're not going to tell me what to do. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. And did he not just say that? Now, how would you feel as one of his cast members, especially if you are one, if you are one of those on one of his struggling shows or even the main show that is slowly uh, disintegrating? But you probably stand back wondering like, why you don't ever talk about our shows? For me, that will come off like neglect. I would be mad. That's like having a kid and leaving home because you want to go to the club. When your responsibility is to take care of your child, to nurture, love, support, give them they, your attention, motivate them to be great and watch them blossom. And that's what he should be doing with his shows. But he wanted to be the dude that got about five kids but get into a new relationship and take better care of his new woman kids than he does his own. I don't know why he thought it was a good look to, you know, say that I won't focus on my shows. I'll do what I want to do because he looked crazy and he sounded like a rebellious teenager. Like, get your mess together, Carlos Reginald King. Because if you don't, baby, that curtain is going to fall and knock you plumb out. Raindrops. If there are some raindrops out there, listen. I got a quick question, okay? Is that your king? Raindrops. Hey, is that your king? If that's your king, raindrops, I'm going to need y'all to pull them to the side and be like, Hey, king, look. I'm going to need you to get it together. Because 
you got us looking kind of bad out here. Pull it together. You're supposed to be the king, right? You said that you the king. You the separate claim king of reality TV. Get it together because you're making us look bad. How are we going to be able to represent you and you out here acting like that? Get us over here calling ourselves the raindrops. We about to be the swiftest because we ain't been doing nothing but collecting dust. So y'all got to talk to him like that. Put him to the side. Because y'all got to remember, he went from saying he was the president of the Melometers to trying to make the groups come together and be the mellow drops. And then he got his feelings and he said he's not listening to nobody but the raindrops. So raindrops, if you out there, drop some knowledge on them and let them know that y'all ain't feeling this, that he needs to get it together. Okay? So y'all, get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think about this. Please like, share, subscribe. Also, timestamp is in, if it's anything that you want to talk about. And I'll talk to y'all later.